reported Libby. Amos spoke to officials at the Central Command Post in Mobile today. Libby, what's the update? Well, Bob, today is only the second day that weather has been good enough for crews who are working out in the Gulf to burn some of that oil off the surface of the water. The crews are also in the process of transporting a giant dome to the location of the oil rig. They're hoping today's attempts will be a success. Yeah, the burns that were done before, the control burns that were done before were very successful. Unfortunately, the weather that we have had over the last few days has not been conducive to conducting burns. Right now, the weather is cooperating, and we're going to be able to do some of that. U.S. Coast Guard Lieutenant Scooter McKnight was optimistic about progress being made out in the Gulf today. Crews have started the process to get a special dome deployed onto the head of the well, which is still spewing thousands of gallons of oil a day into the water. The dome um, was, was finished constructing it. It was leaving out of Port Fouchon, Louisiana, and uh, we're really optimistic that it's going to be successful. It's going to take a while to get it out there. And a little, bit of, a little bit of maneuvering and engineering to get it down to the source of the leaks. Crews were also able to stop one part of the well from leaking. They, there were three leaks. Uh, the, uh, one of them was plugged with a, a mechanism that was able to cap the end of the pipe. They, uh, they basically said that shouldn't decrease the flow because the flow is just going to be directed to other places, but now we only have to focus on two leaks. A British Petroleum representative spoke about the dome project today in Louisiana. You can imagine we're landing a very, very large uh, uh, metal, essentially metal building onto the seafloor to capture the flow. And this has to be done very precisely at a depth of 5,000 feet. So it's a, it's a very complex task. That BP spokesperson says it will take the ship about 12 hours to get to the site of the spill and about two days to actually get that dome onto the floor of the Gulf. He said they hope to stop the oil from flowing into the sea by Monday, but reminded everyone that will be a very difficult mission to complete. Bob.